It is my view, as I said, uh, PUP special interests are the ones that are financing, sustaining, encouraging this entire move because when we are fighting for power, when we are fighting to be leader and we're so anxious and so hungry, it does not help the party. It only helps the People's United Party. This is not beneficial for any UDP. It is not beneficial for even the people that are championing this cause because they will end up nowhere. They will end up with a party that uh, continues to be distracted from its objective and its principles, which is to form the next government, which is to advocate on behalf of the <coughs> Belizean people. But I guess sometimes when you get to a desperate point, you don't care. You don't care what the results are. I would plead, uh, because there will be after this. My humble opinion, this is dead on arrival. Uh, it won't pass vetting, in my humble opinion. Uh, if it needed pass vetting. Definitely won't get the two thirds. I, it, again, you look at the numbers, it was a margin of three. And they said, oh, you know, you barely won. So if all that they have said about me is true, and there were legitimate questions as to my leadership, then at least the people that voted for my opponent would sign the petition, at least. And certainly I would have offended some of those that did give me an opportunity. And they would have signed also. But let's leave out the ones that supported me because they could say, oh, well, they just don't, they don't want to show their hand now. What, what, what stopped those that voted for my opponent from signing the petition? They certainly didn't want me to be their leader. But they couldn't even get close to what happened in the convention. So what makes you think that they're going to get 350 votes that they need in a convention? And, and this is why I say this is a special interest move.